What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to increase your FPS in Sims 4. So stick to the end guys, I'll tell you step by step how to do that. But before we start right into the video guys, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really mean the world to me and you would, uh, you would support a little YouTuber like me and i would really be thankful for that so subscribing is free for you guys and would be a massive support for me so be sure to hit the subscribe button i'm gonna thank you for that right now and i would just say let's get right started so in order to increase your fps in rust the first step is gonna be to open up your files um and you're gonna go down to this pc and you're gonna right click it and click on properties Afterwards, you're going to go to the right corner of your, scre of your screen and click on Change Settings. Um, when you're at Change Settings, you're going to basically, uh, this, will, this window will pop up. You're going to go to Advanced right here, so the third one, and you're going to go to Performance and Settings right here, where you're going to adjust it for best performance. Once you did that, you're going to hit Apply and you can close this one again. The next step is going to be to go to the bottom left corner of your screen, hit the window symbol, hit settings and once you hit settings you're gonna go to system and you're gonna stick to display right now where you're gonna identify which monitor you're using if you have obviously one more one uh, more than one and you're gonna go down once you did that to scale and layout and you're gonna check the size of text apps and other items to be at 100% and the display resolution should be the same as in game so for example if you have 720 by 1070 be sure to apply it also in the display resolution uh, the next step is going to be to notifications and actions or so the third one and I want you to turn this off because you don't want first of all big ass notifications popping up in the right corner of your screen which will lead you to tab out of the game and you need to swipe it away and the second thing is that your PC needs to render it so just turn it off. The next step is going to be to power, go to power and sleep so the fifth one right here on this particular window you can redo really anything uh, but going to the right corner and clicking additional power settings once this window pops up you're going to go to high performance right here which could lead to overheating or getting your pc too noisy but um i would promise you guys if you uh, can uh, just click on high performance without having too much issues you will have a lot more fps than usual once you did that you can close this one down again and go to storage once you're here, I want you to go to the blueprint where it says configure storage sensor, run it now. And I want you to uh, basically just copy my settings. This will help you out, help you to blow out every single temporary file which you're currently not using um, on your PC, which will just um, take up space and take up performance. Just copy my settings and afterwards hit clean now. Once you did that, you're going to go back twice. And you're gonna go to the main settings menu where you're gonna go to gaming. Once you click gaming, the game bar will start and you will turn this off because we don't have any benefits from using the game bar without um, uh, without losing too many or too much performance. So just turn this off. The next step is gonna be to go to captures right here. And I want you to turn this off because guys, we don't want Windows to record our gameplay all the time we're gaming it or we're playing a game this will also lead to a massive performance performance um decrease because of course if you don't have a high-end pc or low end if you have a low-end pc this will take a lot of performance so and personally guys if you want to record something use a proper program for that and not windows you're gonna go the next step is gonna be to go to game mode and i need you to know guys that um here it depends on which when you're using, if you're using AMD, um, I think it's better to turn it off. And if you're using NVIDIA, turn it on. But it is specific for your system. So just try it out, which is one suits better for your system. The next step is going to be to come back another time and go to update and security right here. Where you're going to check if you have the latest Windows version of your PC. Um, and once you check that, you can also close this one down again. And now I want you to uh, check for your graphics card to be at the latest version. So if you have an AMD or NVIDIA, it just doesn't matter. Just go to the application and check for your latest version. I want, to, uh, want you to go to the browser and download it. The next step and the last step is going to be to go down to the bottom of your screen and right click your taskbar and open up your task manager. Once your task manager is perfectly opened, I want you to and every single application and background process which is currently running and um, because 
every single process is using your CPU and GPU, which uh, takes up performance. So I want you to close every single process where you can basically uh, increase your FPS by doing that. Um, once you finish that, you can also close the task manager again. And that's it for the video, guys. I hope I could actually help you out of this video. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my channel. It would really mean the world to me. And um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.